Hello guys and welcome back to TechWolf and to this command prompt course and today we are going to discuss another command which is Robocopy. In previous two tutorials we discussed copy command and xcopy command and those commands are mainly used for simple file copying or for copying files or creating duplicate files in the same directory or moving files from place to place where Robocopy is mainly used for copying files from folders to folders and today i'm going to show you how you can do this so let's open a command prompt by typing in search cmd and hitting enter and we will be using these two directories like i mentioned if you would be trying to execute robocopy command the same way for simple file copying where you are trying to copy one file to another file this will not be possible as for robocopy like i mentioned this is mainly used for copying from one folder to another folder. In many cases you would want to use an absolute pass for this copying. To not use an absolute pass I will enter desktop by typing cd or change directory space and desktop and hitting enter so I am in desktop here and here I have two folders one is new directory as you can see this is empty if I open it and another one is my folder and if I open this one then in my folder you can see that there are two directories or two folders where one is empty folder and another folder is with two files if I click into it here you can see these two files and I have here in my folder also another two files so what we will do is we will copy files from my folder which is on our desktop to this new directory by using robocopy command and I will show you two ways how you can do it so first one is if we type in robocopy uh, then we specify the folder name from which we want to copy we want to copy from my folder so type in my folder space and then the name of the folder where you want to copy these files or this contents from my folder and we want to copy to this new directory which is empty let's type in new directory and hit enter you can see that this copying took place and if we open now new directory you will see that only files were copied so no directories from my folder were copied we need to use a switch or this is also called an attribute on this command to be able to copy also all folders and all files in that particular directory so I will type in a command cls to clear the command line window and let's repeat this the same command I will click on arrow up on my keyboard until I will return back to this command which I just executed robocopy then my folder from where we want to copy and we want to copy into new directory but first I will open the this new directory and I will delete these two files and now let's open a command prompt and to copy all files and folders we need to specify another like I mentioned attribute space forward slash and e and this will copy all files and all folders from my folder into the new directory and now let's hit enter and you can see that copying took place there are no errors now we open new directory you can see that these folders and all files have been copied like I mentioned robocopy doesn't work the same way as copy as with copy you can copy single files but by using robocopy first thing what you should know is that you can copy only from folder to folder and another thing is that in robocopy there is a lots of advanced features which go beyond copy and x copy command robocopy offers such features as resumable copies that can pause and resume transfers robocopy also offers mirroring that can synchronize directories by deleting files in destinations that are not present in the source another feature of robocopy is file filtering that allows copying files based on criteria like size date and extensions also robocopy offers robust error handling which can retry failed copies and handle network interruptions more gracefully and robocopy also offers logging and reporting that provides detailed logs on the copy operation and robocopy also offers scheduling which allows this copying or scheduling to run at specific times and if you would want to see more information about robocopy you can type in ta command robocopy space forward slash and question mark and hit enter and you will be able to see more information what other options you can use with this robocopy command Thank you. 